Hey guys, how's it going? I had a gospel story today. I figured I'd share it with you. Um, but first, check out my chest night. My daughter, who's five years old, painted this and my wife, uh, you know, overlaid an image of a knight on top so that it turns out like this. Isn't that cool? And um, I got the new chestnut air chessboard, electronic chessboard. Pretty cool, huh? I can play against the computer on a real chessboard uh, or, 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 or a live opponent. I also have the Square Off Pro, but I'm not going to show that. But anyway, I'm, I'm experimenting with, with OBS and the video editing software. So you can see me three times. That's probably a downfall. Uh, so, But uh, that's what's going on. That's just how I set it up. But anyway, so I was, I, was at, I was at lunch today. I brought some gospel tracks. If you see, I got them in my hoodie pouch. That's the best... That's the best existence for a hoodie pouch. See, there's a hoodie pouch. The best existence for a hoodie pouch is to carry gospel tracks. So, here's the gospel tracks. And, um, I just keep them in my hoodie. Well, I should keep them in my hoodie pouch so, so I'm available to hand them away or use it to transpose into the gospel, uh, the law in the gospel. Uh, big fan of uh, how Ray Comfort does it, using the law first to bring the conviction of sin, and, uh, and then the hope of the gospel message. Um, so I was at lunch today uh, at this place right up the street, and um, hold on, let me let me set this up. Looks real, doesn't it? So I'm at lunch today, and I have these hoodies, these uh, these gospel tracks, and I'm and I'm praying, God, please give me boldness, give me love, you know, for my neighbor. And I was thinking of should I should I walk up to people's tables, but that's kind of weird, right? You don't want to be weird sharing the gospel. You don't want to be weird, even though I've I've heard Ray Comfort has has offered gospel tracks at people's tables before, and I've done it myself. I mean, when when you have the love of God and you, you know, it's burning inside of you, you know, you you gotta reach these people you know what i mean look have you seen the world today have you seen the nonsense that we have to face today you know like it says in esther for such a time as this you know that's why we exist now god ordained that we should exist now to stand up to all this stuff and and preach the gospel that uh that the only hope of them being saved is that they would repent and trust in jesus because there's no other hope. But I'm sure you might know that. But I'm not sure because who knows is gonna who's gonna watch my my vlog. But anyway, so I was at there and I finally got the courage to offer this lady next to me a gospel message. Turns out she's already a Christian and she goes to my church. Can you believe it? She goes to my church. And uh, so that was kind of cool. But she said her sister's not saved. So if you could, if you want to pray for her, pray for her that uh, she might understand the God. She's apparently she's Catholic. So I, I tried to offer her one, but she she didn't want it. But anyway, um, and then I and then I offered the um, I offered the Trashmen gospel tracks, but they didn't want it. So I was thinking of maybe getting them drinks next time. Um, and then. And then I offered one to my waitress with a tip. I mean, obviously I tipped her, of course. I don't know a Christian who wouldn't tip, but anyway. Um, and I think it's a pretty good tip, yeah. Anyway, um, she didn't want it either, you know. And so, you know, you just pray, you say, Father, please open the door for them, you know, some other time. But but you don't but you don't get bitter about it. You know what I mean? That's not the you just move on. Just go on to someone else. Anyway, folks, 
I'm going to put the message of the gospel right here. The million dollar question, will you go to heaven when you die? Have you lied, stolen, used God's name in vain? Or or lusted, which Jesus said was adultery? Matthew 5.28 If so, God sees you as a liar, thief, blasphemer, and adulterer at heart. If you die in your sins, you will end up in a terrible place called hell. But there is good news. Though we broke God's law, Jesus paid the fine by dying on the cross. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Then Jesus rose from the dead and was seen by hundreds. It's no fairy tale. He fulfilled all the prophecies of the promised Savior. Please, today, repent and trust Jesus. And God will forgive you and grant you the gift of eternal life. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. Then to show your gratitude, read the Bible daily and obey it. And join a Christian church. And be baptized. Visit needgod.com and livingwaters.com. Well, that's it for today, folks. God bless you.